Considering I, Divine Cybermancy's complex gameplay, thick ambiance, and curious mix of weapons and psionic abilities, it's sometimes easy to forget that this ambitious indie game is the work of less than a dozen French moderns. Is this eye-catching dystopia truly divine, or merely mundane? Taking a healthy dose of inspiration from Deus Ex, I centers on an endless war between the oppressive Federation and your comrades, a mysterious band of warrior monks known as the Secreta Secretorum. It's a tough story to follow, but I makes up for this narrative fog with a series of sprawling non-linear maps that range from gloomy cityscapes to dusty Martian canyons. Ambitious as it all may be, you'll spend much of the first hour or two just learning how to play. A brief tutorial mission covers the basics, like jumping and attacking, but grasping such key elements as equipping items, hacking electronics, or using your devastating psionic abilities entails plotting through a confusing labyrinth of video tutorials. Once you subdue the interface, it's hard not to appreciate Eye's gameplay, particularly when you're playing cooperatively in 32-player games. The lengthy missions change greatly based on your interactions with NPCs, and each mission in turn often favors a particular satisfying weapon. Hunt down rogue officers in an urban war zone, for instance, and you'll wish you brought along a sniper rifle. Fend off hordes of mutants in an abandoned base, and you'll want to lug around a massive rotary cannon. And if worse comes to worse, you can always whip out your sword and get medieval on your Space Age adversaries. While the nuts and bolts of a great shooter are here, you'll find the devil in the details. The already cumbersome radial menu tends to reset itself without warning, the game crashes a bit too often, and the AI occasionally feels too smart, with handgun-toting thugs scoring headshots from 100 yards away. Some players will cringe at the use of the aging source engine, while still others will balk at the Japanese-inspired gibberish that passes for voiceovers. <laughs> Strum on Studios' creation is flawed without a doubt, and it isn't hard to find hints of developer hubris in this feature-crammed adventure. But at the opening price of 20 bucks, players craving something genuinely different will definitely find it in I, Divine Cybermancy, without breaking the bank.